All right, guys. It's uh, it's your it's your boy, and hello, YouTubers. Uh, bringing you a free for all today, and I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of do a little monotonous um commentary. You know, just gonna try to run you through the game and why I'm doing something and why I'm doing this. Let me turn the game volume up a little bit. I'm um, right now. I heard people walking around under me. And I'm just trying to get bearings of where I am. Because I'm in a spot where I'm not, I'm not really comfortable where I'm at. When I'm up in this situation right here, I kind of feel on edge. I see the guy crawling over there. So I end up just trying to power power him through the wall, which doesn't work. But he gets up reload and he gets up. And I just full auto him. The F-2000 is, F is more of a burst weapon than a fully automatic weapon. So I consider it like a burst weapon that can go fully automatic, but that makes sense. I uh, get an edge on this guy and I get another, you know, full auto kill. And I'm still trying to figure out the bearings on things because when I'm I'm using my headset, which picks up a lot better than uh, my Turtle Beach picks up a lot better than you know just computer speaker sounds. And I get my boy Ape again for my seventh kill right there. A lot of people would call this camping, which it, it's, it's, it most likely is, but it doesn't matter. You got to do what you got to do to win. I come here to try to avoid the Harrier, at least try to avoid the blast radius so I don't kill myself. I get one with the Harrier. I hear footsteps again, so I come back over here. But by the way, if you notice, I got my uh, I got my T91 tag on because it's always good to have the trout on your side when you're in the free-for-all. Like right now, I, I'm I'm just covering my only exit to the stage. This is this right here. I mean, there is one behind me, but most people don't take the risk to go up the ladder or jump the or jump the little gap between the roofs. This right here would be the place they would come at me if possible. I'm trying to wait out till I get my chopper gunner or AC-130. I'm not sure which one I have. I get sniped right here, and you know, I come down behind the pole. I'm sitting ducking, just trying to be a pain in the ass, and I come up and I get them through. Uh, I nail him, and I come right into the back of the stage here. I try to make the exit because I wanted to get off that roof for a while. Because um, I wanted to go up there and just, you know, pop one or two people and get off, but it didn't work that way because I always kept little mice feet scurrying. So I come back here because there is no spawn points back here whatsoever. This is why a lot of boosters like to come, you know, get their boost on. And I'm coming back here because there's only two points of uh, interest here. There's the long-winded way, which I came. And there's the direct way, which is most people, which which is the way most people that aren't thinking what they're doing will come. I uh, finally see that nobody's coming, so I wanted to get a little closer to the action, so maybe I could pick up two or three more kills. Which I, I get a guy right there, you know, a thumb at his dick. Uh, who knows? His batteries might have died or something. And I hear my pave logo going away, so I retreat back here to the no spawn zone. And I call in, uh, call in the helicopter. Uh, the attack, the uh, Apache helicopter on Karachi is kind of a pain, especially on free for all. But I happen to be the host of this game, so I get the I get the double powered, you know, super Apache. That's when you hear that sound right there. That means your host, pretty much. What I'm doing when I'm in, in, when I'm free fall, I'm just trying to protect myself first and foremost, and just trying to pick off anybody that's like glowing white. They'll generally put a box around you, and you see that little um, that little targeting system. It will generally go to a guy that you can shoot openly, like he has a part of his body showing to the actual Apache gunship. Uh, let's see, you got in the clock tower. Just trying to take out as many as possible. Come back. I see I still got to get like three more kills. Well, uh, so I come back to a safe haven over here. I feel comfortable in this area behind the ice cream bar. Just because most people, because it's a pretty good visual aid and most people don't look into the dark alcove of this place. They'll just run aimlessly by like you'll see uh, coming up here. I hear the footsteps. You, 
And I come back out here. I thought he would go up and around, but no, I see him there. He went back there because I killed him with the chopper gunner. He most likely used the whole, the, the press start button and find out where I was because he went back there to kill me and not there no more. I hear him again. And I hear he slowed down, so I figured he'd be uh, coming around the corner just like that. And there he is again, spawning to try to get his payback, and that's a 30 and 0 with the F2000. Um, other than that, I kind of stayed. I kind of stayed in this back area and kind of made it known where I was at. I didn't really use a silenced weapon. Um, my takes on silenced weapons are two, two, two different aspects. There's two ways to play free for all. You could play the the ringing the dinner bell kite, which you can use with like a red dot or you know an unsilenced weapon in general. That way, if um, if you if you get into a, a high traffic area that has like no traffic at the time, because the way the spawns work in free for all is they they work on a payback system. Um, generally, a person will spawn near you if they need to get payback, and if somebody jumps the gun somewhere else in another high traffic area, and he might get all the people spawning near him. So you can use like a non-silenced weapon to draw their attention. Like um, if you want to use a silenced primary. I suggest using an unsilenced secondary. That way you can like bait them in. Like, you know, put your claymore down, fire your gun off a couple times, and, and, and use your headset to kind of listen for uh, the people coming. This is called ringing the dinner bell. Because every people, you, you're trying to prey on the people who don't really think when they play, and you don't want to be the person that doesn't think when they play. You ring the dinner bell, they come, you get, you get the kill, and next thing you know, the payback spawns near you in your high traffic area. And you can consistently pick them off and move when you can. The key is to not to get too many paybacks as possible, but that, that's just something you have to work on. Using the payback spawn system to your advantage, you'll get consistently good games like this. I use the F2000. I got a 30 and 0. It's probably one. Of the, they it's, it's arguably the worst assault rifle in the game, but I enjoy it. But it is what it is. I'm signing out.